today's tutorial is about how to do the Tunisian Hans tooth pattern. The yarn that I'm using today is Baroque Vintage Worsted. I always use darker color for main color and the lighter color for contrasting color. Okay, let's get started. This pattern is a multiple of 4 plus 3 with 5.5 mm Tunisian hook with main color let's do chain 23 for gauge swatch There will be two foundation rows before we start our main pattern. Foundation row 1. We'll insert the hook into the back bump of the chain. Skip the first chain pull up loop in each chain across. Total, we will have 23 loops on the hook. For the return path, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, repeat to the end until we will have one stitch on the hook. Foundation row 2, we will do Tunisian simple stitch forward pass and return pass. Make sure last stitch you go through under both strands of yarn from front to back pull up loop. Normally we will do the return pass until there is only one loop on the hook but because next row we're going to change color so we'll leave two loops on the hook and then we'll use the contrasting color to finish the return pass so the next row will be our main pattern row one with contrasting color forward pass double crochet in next vertical bar of two rows below. That's our foundation row one. Make a double crochet here. For next two stitches, just do regular TSS. Slip next vertical bar. Then we will repeat these four stitches to the last two. Okay, let's do a slow motion.
One more time. For last two stitches, yarn over, do a double crochet in the vertical bar two rows below. TSS in last stitch. Then do the regular return pass. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Repeat until you have one loop on the hook. If you see the last loop is a little loose, then don't worry about it. We can tighten a knot on the back to secure it. Okay, now it won't go anywhere. Maybe it's a little bit too tight. Okay, now. Row 2. Tunisian simple stitch. Forward pass and regular return pass. This will be much easier. Because we'll switch back to the main color, so we'll leave two loops on the hook and use main color to finish the return pass. Okay, now we will do row three with main color TSS in next vertical bar. Slip next vertical bar, yarn over, do a double crochet, two rows below. TSS for next two stitches. Slip next vertical bar. Repeat last four stitches to last four. For last four stitches, double crochet in the vertical bar of two rows below. TSS in each of the last three stitches. Then do a regular return pass. Row four. Tunisian simple stitch, forward pass and return pass. At least we can take a rest on the even number rows.
I just made the four rows one time pattern repeat. We will repeat these four rows for the hunt's tooth pattern. My swatch is almost done. Now I'm on the return pass of row four. Let's finish the return pass and then we'll see how to bind off. Insert your hook under next vertical bar and pull the loop through both vertical bar and the loop on the hook. We'll do the same thing, repeat, pull through both. Now we only have one loop on the hook all the time. It's just like slip stitch of the regular crochet. At the end, we just pull through the last loop and fasten off. Okay, this is the Hunt Tooth pattern for you. I hope you like it. And I hope this will help you to make the Hunt Tooth coat. Thank you for watching and see you next time.